Hello sugar boogers and welcome back. So just a couple days ago, I did a review on the functioning ATM machine that I believe Zuru, and I'm not talking about Zubru, I'm talking about Zuru, like Z-O-O-O. Oh, 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 no, I'm just kidding. R O O, something like that. Zuru, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Made, I do believe they created it. I don't know. That's what it said in, in the website that I found it. I don't know. Either way, <clears throat> I did a review like three days ago, and y'all seem to really love the concept behind this object. And I really did too. And honestly, there was one thing that I thought was missing and that was the fact and the ability to get loans on this machine or just loans in general because I made like this kind of loan check cashing place slash bank sort of deal. And um, this is actually available to you guys on the gallery. It's under Newton's Money Mart. And now it feels even more official. And uh, it looks just like this Newton's Money Mart. It's by moi. And then just make sure under advanced you have include custom content ticked. Otherwise, you're not going to see Newton's um, available in my portfolio or whatever it's called. So anyway, they just updated it like a couple, not even like a day later or something like that to go ahead and give the ability to do loans. And I was floored. Y'all let me know. You're like, Jen, hey, 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 these machines can now do um, they can now do credit. So I thought that was really freaking awesome and I wanted to demonstrate that for you guys and also let you guys know that this mod indeed has been updated to support loans in which do include interest. So now when you come to Newton's, you have two choices. You can go ahead and buy a card, which essentially deducts from your household funds. You place it onto a card. You can put the card into your Sims inventory, hold it there until you need it, until they move or whatever the situation is and sell it. And if they're by themselves, then it's just, you know what I mean? Like it's their personal funds, I guess. It keeps it separated to the individual Sim for a later date. And I didn't actually show you guys what that looks like when you go to sell it. Um, so I'll go ahead and demo that just in a second after we talk about the new loan system. So what we do is we go ahead and go over to the ATM. You're going to need to update your existing um, ATM to version two. So I'll have that linked down below. You'll just go basically back to the website if you did download this and you'll re-download it um, and take out the previous file, the version one, both the poster and the ATM, take those out just to make sure and then reinstall version two. Very simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Aaliyah go over here and purchase some credit from the ATM. And uh, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm kind of curious as to see what this is going to look like. So you can purchase any amount from, okay, so you can purchase any amount, this is buying credit, correct? Okay, so you can purchase any amount from, um, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. So the cards here are the ones that, all right, okay, so it's gonna, when you go and you click buy credit, it, um, it's going to show the cards as well, like the original mod, you know, when you purchase this, deduct this from your actual funds. Down below, it's going to have a um, kind of like a slip, almost like an envelope, and these are going to be the loan agreements. So basically, you can choose anything, and they're going to have like a little minus sign. So you can choose um, from $9.99 all the way up to $24,000. Now, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and click as many as you wish. I mean, you could literally take a loan out for 250000 if you want. But keep in mind that your interest rate is 10%. So say we went ahead and um, I'm just going to do one loan for, for 20. Wait, Rushing doesn't have enough simoleons to buy this. So I'm kind of curious as to if this actually works because I'm not allowed to... Choose your loan and then the required, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> I was kind of brain farting there for a minute. Okay, so choose your loan and then the required card amount. I get it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then you got to purchase the same card amount. So the total cost is $1. So, okay, minus $1. I got a loan. So then I go over here, and then I do what? Pay bills, 27000 and then um, basically, oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, I get it now. See, I told you I really haven't used this before. So now once you do that, you're going to get your loan, 
which is basically paying, it's a bill. You're going to be paying back the amount that you had purchased plus some. So you can go ahead and take your card, which is basically the loan amount, and you can go ahead and sell it. And now you can see she has $73,000 available to her. Um, and then when you want to go back and pay your loan, you just pay the bills, which is 27500 $27, because you have the additional 10% on top of that. Does that make sense? So now look at her. She lost $3,000 with the loan. So that's basically what you do when it comes to using the loan. And then um, if you just wanted to like buy a car just to keep your funds separate, you never know, maybe you're going through a nasty divorce or, you know, you need to pay child support to somebody. You got to do what you got to do, boo-boo. I ain't judging you. Um, especially, like, these little standard cards are perfect for, like, low amounts like that. Just go ahead and purchase anyone that you so that your heart desires or anyone that you so shall choose or whatever the hell the word it is. Go ahead and purchase it, and then it's going to be in your inventory, and you sell it for exactly $100, and there you go. You get your money back. So that is how you sell the cards, and that is also how you go ahead and acquire a loan. It was definitely a little confusing to originally figure out, but I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. So if you're interested, now your Sims can get loans, and I don't believe there's any limit to what you can um, what you can take out. Just know that you're going to have to pay it back and then some, but it doesn't seem like there's any required time to pay it back or anything of that sort, so you can pay it at your own risk, or you could never pay it back if you chose, I guess. If you want to be in debt, I mean, I don't condone that, but it is what it is. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to come in here and show you all this for a little quick update. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And also, will you or will you not be using this functional ATM with now loan capabilities for your Sims future real estate needs or whatever need that you may have? I know that I sure am, and I know that I already have. So I'm very excited to go ahead and put this to good use in my game and LP. And again, I just wanted to go ahead and shout this all out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do want to get this, the link will be in the description down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Theater kind of thing uh, or projector. Or you could do like a drive through or drive in or whatever the hell it's called movie theater kind of viewing thing or like an outdoor movie viewing. You could get creative with it, is basically what I'm saying. So I did too kind of think it was like that. Um,